Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Brenda with Scrappy House Journals. Um, I'm here to document another little journal that I had made before Christmas. A friend of mine invited me to a crop. Now, crop was a new word for me. I haven't known about this word very long, but I'm sure most of y'all know what it is. It's just where you several people get together and, and, and craft. So there's actually a, a lady that has an Airbnb and she will let us come to her house uh, for a small fee and um, craft for days, like three, four days, if you can believe that. And she has a beautiful Victorian home, so... When my friend told me about Victorian home, and then we were going to go see Victorian houses on the home tour, I thought, yeah, I think I want to go try this out and see what it's all about. So, my friend and I decided we wanted to work on a, a journal while we were there, and since we were doing the Victorian thing and everything, um, we just downloaded some digitals and uh, decided to to make a, a journal using digitals because it's nice and easy and quick and they usually just turn out just adorable. So this one here, all of the digitals I do believe in here are from one creator on Etsy and it's Charm, S-H-A-R-M Studios. And I, I probably, I think I downloaded maybe three different kits in in here um but all in all not uh not bad and it was a lot of fun now the the cover here i'm loving this soft cover um this is an amazon uh, a brown amazon uh padded envelope and uh so that's what i use for the cover and uh i just got me some green fabric and measured it out and kind of folded it to match the shape and stitched it down in the same way with the front and then um a lot of well some of this uh the laces and stuff are actually sewn on too so some of it's partly sewn and some of it's partly glued but anyway it's kind of cute it's got um three three signatures and um i love the way it feels I really, really do, and the soft spine it it enables your book to to open up and and not you know come back on you, and uh, even though it it's a little bit on the chunky side, but it lays really, really nicely as you can see. It's not really it's not really gator mouth, and I didn't really have to have a closure to hold it tight, so I love it. Anyway, this is the this is the cover, so not much to it. I just put a couple little doilies. I got me some um, cardboard and some paper and <laughs> doily and just cut it out and use one of those little wooden um what are those little what are they called? Those little wooden cutouts from uh, Dollar Tree. It says Merry Christmas. So anyway, pretty cute. Alrighty, so here's the inside of it. I'm falling apart already. And I just made a little pocket right here and I sewed it down here. Everything's pretty pretty sturdy. It's all sewn in. Cute little stocking right there. And here's one of the little keepsakes from um, my little crop. <laughs> and uh, this is the, um, the map of all the houses that we went and toured. And it was just a blast. And um, this is just an image that um, comes from Charm Studios. And it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. <clears throat> All right. Yep, here's me and Kim. That's Kim. That's me. Now you know who I am. Hello, Brenda. <laughs> That's Brenda right there. Alrighty, I'm gonna just kind of flip through this because like I say, this is this is all digitals and um, there wasn't really a lot to it. I did 
on some of these uh, pages. I don't know if you can see it or not, but on some of the snow, I don't think I can see it. I need a different light. Anyway, I, I put some, some glitter on the snow and it's super cute. Super cute. Okay, so I mean, here I am. I'm just gonna flip through and just show y'all what I did. The, the papers just kinda speak for themselves and then I just put some pictures in and we made a little, I did make a little trifold right here. Uh, this, this is the house that we stayed in. Absolutely gorgeous. So much fun, y'all. So much fun. Okay. And look, isn't it just so pretty? There's just a little tag right here, and I just made a little pocket to match the, the page. Just some lace pockets, just sticking stuff in. There's just a little vintage picture. Oh, my friend um, Kim made me this little uh, fabric flip. So I put that in there. She's always giving me stuff. And then here's a, she gave me this too. This little angel charm. Just made a little cluster right there and put a little Christmas poem in here. There's a little pocket with some little tags. Mm. Oh, I did, um, this was uh, some ledger paper that Kim gave me, I used in here. And then I just made a little waterfall notepad right here. And just put some little tags in here with this pretty little, this is part of a tablecloth. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, that's just some... Okay, just some stuff we picked up on our little tour in town. Uh, this is just uh, some little pages that I printed off. Put some old stuff in here. Oh, y'all, listen. Look at these dolls. I am obsessed with these dolls. This house was in the tour. Um, the house itself wasn't. It was later 1920s house. Um, but let me tell you what, this woman, she had all these dolls. She said these dolls, and this is just a fraction of what she had. These dolls are from 1900 to 1906. And whew, they're just gorgeous, just gorgeous. So yeah, these are just some pictures that I took. Um, as we toured around town and stuff, these are some ladies that worked at a, a restaurant called the Harvey House. So pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. This is just some embossed paper right here that I made a pocket. And that's just some digitals there. Yeah, just some digitals, just a journal on. And some beautiful paper. Look at all that. Isn't it pretty? There's some more of the girls that were on the in the crop with us. Just a little journaling tag. These the backs of these tags. I have a bigger picture, but I'll show you in just a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The things I saw. You know, I just love this kind of stuff, so kind of freaks me out. We had a birthday party at a restaurant. So there we all are. And here's a, a menu from the restaurant. And um, let's see. I was going to see if I could find the owner. Yep, here's the owner of the house right here. Her name's Amy. She did so much stuff for us, y'all. She bought so much stuff. She bought food. Everybody had a bag of stuff to take full of scrapbook paper and food and all kinds of stuff. She always had food and punch. 
for us to drink. Now we, we bought our main meals mainly, but she had all kinds of snacks and sweets and breakfast stuff and, and it was just amazing. And here's her house again. Just so much fun. Boy, do I want to do some more crops. I do. There's me and Kim. So much fun. This is just a little journal I made. Super cute. All right, let's go. Uh, just some pictures. I'm printing out pictures. I'm, I'm, I'm surprising myself here. Printing out pictures, because I usually don't. But since I made, oh, isn't this pretty? This is part of a tablecloth, too. This is just um, a house that was in the neighborhood. There was quite a few Victorian homes. And then what I want to show you uh, right here, these were in uh, the museum in town. This was the size of a quilt. It was hanging on a quilt rack, actually. They had to put red fabric behind it because you couldn't really see all these laces. This was a salesman's sample. I don't know how old it was, but ooh, wouldn't we love to get our hands on that? Ooh, you couldn't touch that. That was just so vintage and so important to history. So cool. My friend Kim that invited me. It's just some leftover papers there. And my signature one. No, oh, that was signature two. I'm just flying through here. Look at here. And there's some itsy bitsy pictures I printed. I was going to put some on the edge and I haven't done it yet. Just so sweet. Now here, this is cute. I made a little matchbook right here and um, made a little pocket on the back and put a little tag in it and then just put some of the, the pictures that I had taken in it. Pretty cute, huh? It's stiff though, let me tell you what. It is stiff. All right, there's another sweet little page. Some more pictures. Sweet little hanky down here. So cute. Aren't these papers pretty, though? These were a separate uh, kit from Charm Studio. So, but like I say, all these are pretty much from her. I don't know. I think these might be Timu right here, though. I don't know if them, somebody gave those to me. Maybe Kim, I guess. I guess she gave them to me. And then, anyway, here's just a little tag right there. Look, y'all. Look at all these dolls. It was in that same house. These weren't the, those old ones. I mean, these are old, but I loved it. I loved going and seeing all those old houses. It was so much fun. Look, here's some more. Look, y'all. If anybody likes dolls, look at those. Amazing. Amazing. Just loved it. So, here's this house again. This is the one that's got all the dolls. Let me show y'all. Let me get this up here. <laughs> look at this room. Look at this room. Look at this chest full of laces. You know what I told the lady? There was a lady in here. Uh, it wasn't a lady that owned it, but she was just helping her. And just telling, you know, information about the house and everything. And I told her, I said, okay. I said, see that spot right there? I said, all I need to do is bring my blow-up mattress in, put it right there, and I can live right here in this spot right here. <laughs> she just laughed. Oh, my gosh. I just think it's so cool. So, so, so cool. I had so much fun. I'm so glad I went. So glad I went. And then here's just a journaling tag back here and another 
big piece of yumminess from Charm Studio. Okay, guys, and that's it. I mean, wasn't that, I mean, seriously, it didn't take very long to make this because it's like all digital. So you just fold them, stitch them in, make your pockets, and throw your tags in. So anyway, it's it's great for a beginner. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm liking showing these. Um, I needed to do something in a hurry. I usually work months <laughs> on a journal because I'm so slow. But I didn't have months to do this. So um, my friend and I picked out these digitals and it just worked out wonderfully. We just had a best time sitting around um, making these while we were um, staying in a Victorian home. Who wouldn't have a good time? It was fabulous. Okay, guys, that's it. So thank you for stopping in and we'll see you next time.